How's it going, everybody? Right in the eye here, just bringing you guys some uh, gameplay in the background of uh, Shadow of Mordor uh, in 4K with my two Titan X's run. I'll be able to talk to you guys today about the recently announced Radeon R9 300 series cards. Um, starting right off here with the uh, Radeon R9 360. This is going to be your lowest end card, gamed towards the people trying to play uh, Dota. League of Legends, stuff like that, it's going to come in right around $129. This card will be on low settings, so maybe medium settings, running at 60 frames on almost any game. Uh, especially those donuts and stuff like that at 1080p. The next card I want to talk to you guys is the uh, Radio R9 370. 370 is that going to be that beefier card that people are going to look at to play the same type of games, uh, League of Legends, uh, World of Warcraft, stuff like that. Except this time it's going to be more geared towards getting, uh, you know, 60 frames, stuff like that. Um, it'll come in right around $150, $169, something like that. No one knows for sure. Things can change. Um, the next card is the Radeon R9 380. This card will come in around $200. And it'll have uh, most likely a 3 or 4 gigabytes of frame buffer, and it'll probably have upgraded versions uh, at right around uh, 4 gigabytes, probably somewhere around $220, $240. And this card will basically be geared towards those people trying to play um, your Witcher 3s and stuff like that, on at least medium to high settings. Or maybe even uh, ultra settings uh, in 1440p. <laughs> Um, the next card I want to talk to you guys about is the Radeon R9 390X and the 390. These cards are both going to have 8 gigabytes of frame buffer, somewhere between $320 and $400. And they are going to be gamed towards the 4K beasts of these series. Now, a lot of people think that the competition between uh, NVIDIA and AMD has been pretty much shut out by the 990 Ti, but this is going to be a really good card to close that gap in the, in the 4K realm. Now, I did find out some information about the new dual GPUs that um, Radeon has announced. The Radeon R9 Fiji, I believe it's called. Uh, I have no idea how much it's going to cost. I didn't get the, that information. I'll see if we can find it for you and have a link in the description. This card is a just like their uh, Radeon R9 295X2. This is going to be a dual GPU. Uh, so you're going to be able to have a quad way crossfire, um, not four way quad. Since so you can have two dual GPUs, so two total graphics cards with four GPUs enabled. Um, I like again, I don't know the price point of this, but I'm assuming that it's going to be a power hungry beast. I did see that it had uh, two from one two power sectors at least, and I'm guessing they were eight chains. Uh, the picture that I saw did not look like it came with a all in one water cooler, but I'm sure most of these cars probably do well, especially when you get up to the higher end, like the 90s or 80s. Alright, guys, this has just been a quick gameplay video here. Just sure got some shout out more in the background talking about the new 300 series cards from AMD. Hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Rhett in the Eye on Twitter and Rhett in the Eye Tech Enthusiast on YouTube. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.